Lesson 1. What were you doing yesterday? Hi Anna, what were you doing yesterday? Yesterday, I went for a long walk in the park. That sounds nice. Did you go alone? No, I went with my friend Sarah. Did you enjoy the walk and the company? Yes, it was a lovely time. We had a great conversation. That's wonderful. What else did you do yesterday? After the walk, I cooked dinner for my family. What did you prepare for dinner? I made spaghetti with meatballs and a side salad. Yum! I love spaghetti. How did it turn out? It turned out delicious. Everyone enjoyed it. That's great to hear. Anything else interesting? In the evening, I watched a movie with my family. Which movie did you watch? We watched a comedy called The Funny Side of Life. Did the movie make you laugh? Yes, it was hilarious. We had a good time laughing together. It sounds like you had a fun and fulfilling day. Yes, it was a nice day. How about you, John? What were you doing yesterday? Yesterday, I spent most of the day working on a project. Was it a challenging project? Yes, it required a lot of research and problem solving. I admire your dedication and hard work. Thank you, Anna. It was a productive day overall. That's great to hear. Did you do anything else? In the evening, I went to the gym for a workout. Exercise is important for staying healthy. Good for you. Yes, I try to make time for fitness regularly. That's commendable. Keep up the good work, John. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate your encouragement. You're welcome, John. Have a fantastic day. You too, Anna. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, John. Until next time. Lesson 2. Why were you late for the meeting this morning? Hi Anna, why were you late for the meeting this morning? I apologize, John. There was heavy traffic on the way. Oh, that can be frustrating. How long were you stuck in traffic? I was stuck for about 45 minutes. It was unexpected. That's understandable. Traffic can be unpredictable sometimes. Yes, I left home early, but the congestion was worse than usual. Did you try taking an alternate route? Yes, I tried taking a different route, but it was equally congested. Sometimes there's just no avoiding traffic delays. Exactly, it was beyond my control. It's okay, these things happen. We'll catch you up on what you missed. Thank you, John. I appreciate your understanding. No problem, Anna. Just glad you made it safely. Thank you for your concern. I'll try to plan better next time. That sounds like a good idea. Let's hope for smoother commutes in the future.
Agreed. I'll be more mindful of the traffic conditions. Great, let's focus on the meeting now. We're discussing the new project. I'm ready to contribute. Please fill me in on what I missed. Of course, I'll give you a summary of the key points. Thank you, John. I appreciate your help. You're welcome, Anna. Let's make the most of the meeting. Have a productive day. You too, John. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, Anna. Until next time. Lesson 3, were you watching TV when I called you? Hi Anna, were you watching TV when I called you? Yes, I was watching my favorite show. Oh, sorry for interrupting. Should I call back later? No worries, it's just a commercial break now. All right, I'll keep it short then. Did you enjoy the show? Yes, it's really entertaining. I look forward to it every week. That's great. It's nice to have a show you enjoy. Definitely, it helps me relax and unwind. I'm glad you have something you can enjoy after a long day. Thank you, John. It's a nice way to unwind and escape for a while. I understand. Well, I won't take up much of your time. What did you need? I just wanted to check if you needed any help with the project. Oh, thanks for asking. I could use some input on the presentation. Sure, I can give you some ideas after the show ends. That would be great. Take your time and enjoy the show first. Thanks, John. I appreciate your understanding. No problem, Anna. Enjoy the rest of your show. Talk to you later. Thank you, John. Have a good day. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, Anna. Until next time. Lesson 4 how long were you playing video games yesterday? Hi Anna, how long were you playing video games yesterday? I played for about two hours in the afternoon. That sounds like a good amount of gaming time. What game were you playing? I was playing a racing game called Speed Racer. Racing games can be exciting. Did you have fun? Yes, it was a lot of fun. I enjoy the adrenaline rush. Did you play alone or with friends? I played alone yesterday, but sometimes I play with friends online. Playing with friends can be more enjoyable. Any memorable moments from the game? There was a close race where I narrowly won in the final lap. That must have been thrilling. Do you play video games often? I play occasionally when I have free time. It's a nice way to relax and have some fun. Anything else you did yesterday? After gaming, I cooked dinner and watched a movie. What movie did you watch? I watched a romantic comedy called Love and Laughter. Sounds like a pleasant evening. Did you enjoy the movie? 
Yes, it was a light-hearted and funny movie. It sounds like you had a great day. Thanks for sharing, Anna. You're welcome, John. It was a nice day indeed. How about you? How was your day? My day was productive. I worked on some assignments and went for a jog. That sounds like a good balance of work and exercise. Yes, it helps me stay focused and healthy. Have a wonderful day, Anna. You too, John. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, Anna. Until next time. Lesson 5. Were you worrying about the test results? Triple X. Hi Anna, while waiting in the doctor's office, were you worrying about the test results? Yes, I couldn't help but feel anxious about the test results. Waiting for results can be nerve-wracking. Did you try to distract yourself? I brought a book to read, but my mind kept going back to the results. It's natural to have concerns. Did you discuss your worries with the doctor? Yes, I shared my concerns with the doctor during the appointment. That's good. Did the doctor provide any reassurance or information? The doctor explained the process and reassured me that they would follow up. That must have been comforting. Did you try any relaxation techniques? Yes, I practiced deep breathing and tried to stay calm. Deep breathing can help manage anxiety. Did the wait feel long? It felt like time was passing slowly, but eventually, my name was called. That's a relief. Did you receive the test results during that visit? Yes, the doctor discussed the results and provided further instructions. It's important to have clarity. Were the results as you expected? Thankfully, the results were better than I had anticipated. That's great news, Anna. I'm glad everything turned out well. Thank you, John. It was a weight off my shoulders. You're welcome, Anna. Take good care of yourself. Thank you, John. Have a wonderful day. You too, Anna. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye for now. Lesson 6. What was the cat doing while you were having dinner? Hi Anna, what was the cat doing while you were having dinner? The cat was sitting near the window, watching birds outside. Oh, that's cute. Did the cat try to catch any birds? No, it was just observing them from a distance. Did the cat show any interest in your food? Not really, it was more focused on the birds outside. Cats can be easily distracted by birds and other animals. Yes, their hunting instincts kick in when they see prey. Did the cat join you at the dinner table? No, it preferred to stay by the window and keep an eye on the birds. Sounds like the cat had its own entertainment during dinner. Yes, it was amusing to watch its curiosity and fascination. Pets can bring joy and entertainment to our daily lives. Definitely, they add so much warmth to our homes. Did you interact with the cat after dinner? 
Yes, I played with it using a feather toy for a while. That's lovely. It's important to give pets some attention and playtime. Absolutely, they need that interaction and play to stay happy. Well, it sounds like you had a delightful dinner with some feline company. Yes, it was a pleasant evening. Thanks for asking, John. You're welcome, Anna. Have a wonderful day ahead. You too, Anna. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, John. Until next time. Lesson 7, I was doing yoga. Hi Anna, what were you doing earlier? I was doing yoga. That's great. How long did you practice? I practiced for about 30 minutes. Yoga is a great way to relax and stay fit. Did you enjoy it? Yes, it was very calming and rejuvenating. Do you follow a specific yoga routine or do you mix it up? I follow a guided yoga video for beginners. That's a good way to start. Did you find it challenging? Some poses were a bit challenging, but I'm improving. It's all about progress. Did you do yoga alone or with a group? I did it alone in my living room. That's convenient. You can practice anytime at home. Yes, it's more flexible that way. Have you noticed any benefits from practicing yoga? Yes, it helps me relax, improve flexibility, and reduce stress. That's wonderful. Keep up the good work, Anna. Thank you, John. I will. Do you do any exercises or activities? Yes, I go for a run in the mornings and do strength training. That's great for staying fit. Exercise is important. Definitely. It helps me stay energized and focused throughout the day. That's true. Well, I'll continue with my day. Thanks, John. You're welcome, Anna. Have a fantastic day ahead. You too, John. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye for now. Lesson 8. What were you doing in the kitchen earlier? Hi Anna, what were you doing in the kitchen earlier? I was frying some chicken. Yum! Did you marinate it with any special spices? Yes, I used a blend of herbs and spices for extra flavor. That sounds delicious. How did it turn out? It turned out crispy and juicy, just the way I like it. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Did you make any side dishes? Yes, I prepared a fresh salad and some roasted vegetables. That's a perfect combination. Did you enjoy your meal? Yes, it was a satisfying and tasty dinner. Cooking can be so enjoyable. Do you like trying new recipes? Yes, I enjoy experimenting with different flavors and cuisines. That's great. It's a fun way to expand your culinary skills. 
Definitely, it keeps things interesting in the kitchen. Did you make enough for leftovers? Yes, I have some leftovers for lunch tomorrow. That's convenient. It saves time and effort. Any plans for dessert? I made a simple fruit salad for dessert. A healthy choice. It's refreshing and light. Well done, Anna. Thank you, John. I appreciate your kind words. You're welcome, Anna. Enjoy your meal and have a great evening. You too, John. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye for now. Lesson 9. Were you waiting for the bus when it started raining? Hi Anna, were you waiting for the bus when it started raining? Yes, I was standing at the bus stop when it started raining. Oh no, did you have an umbrella or something to protect yourself? No, I didn't have an umbrella, so I got a bit wet. That's unfortunate. Did the rain last long? It rained for about 10 minutes before it stopped. Did you manage to find shelter while waiting? Yes, I took cover under a nearby tree to stay dry. That was a smart move. Did the bus arrive on time? Yes, luckily the bus arrived shortly after the rain stopped. Phew, that's good to hear. Did you catch the bus without any issues? Yes, I boarded the bus and reached my destination safely. I'm glad everything worked out in the end. Did you dry off quickly? Yes, once I reached my destination, I dried off with a towel. It's important to take care of yourself after getting wet. Anything else eventful happen? Not really, the rest of the day was pretty uneventful. Well, I hope the rest of your day goes smoothly. Take care, Anna. Thank you, John. You too. Have a great day. Goodbye for now. Lesson 10. Have you noticed the beautiful new colleague at our office? Hi Anna, have you noticed the beautiful new colleague at our office? Yes, she's quite stunning. Her presence is hard to miss. I agree. She has a striking appearance. Have you had a chance to talk to her? Not yet, but I'm looking forward to getting to know her. That sounds like a good plan. It's always nice to make new connections. Absolutely, meeting new people can bring fresh perspectives. Do you know what department she works in? I think she's part of the marketing team. I've seen her in their area. Interesting. Maybe we'll have a chance to collaborate with her in the future. That would be great. It's always exciting to work with talented individuals. Definitely. It adds to the positive work environment. Any other thoughts about her? Well, I hope she feels welcomed and comfortable in our office. That's a kind sentiment, Anna. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Thank you, John. It's important to create a supportive workplace. You're absolutely right. Let's make her feel included and valued. Agreed. Well, let's continue with our day.
Take care, John. You too, Anna. Have a productive day ahead. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, John. Until next time. Lesson 11. Were you browsing the internet while you were at work? Hi Anna, were you browsing the internet while you were at work? Yes, I was browsing the internet during my break time. That's understandable. Did you find anything interesting? I came across some interesting articles and news updates. It's good to stay informed. Did you also take care of your work tasks? Yes, I made sure to complete all my work before taking a break. That's responsible of you. Balancing work and breaks is important. Thank you, John. It helps me stay focused and productive. Did you come across any useful information related to your work? Yes, I found some helpful resources that I can apply to my projects. That's great. Learning and staying updated is beneficial for growth. Absolutely, continuous learning is key in today's fast-paced world. Did you also take some time for personal browsing? Yes, during my break, I checked social media and read some blogs. It's good to have a little downtime and relaxation during breaks. Yes, it helps me recharge and avoid burnout. Well, as long as you manage your time effectively, it's all good. Exactly, it's about finding the right balance. Thank you, John. You're welcome, Anna. Have a productive day ahead. You too, John. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye for now. Lesson 12, were you helping your sister with her homework? Hi Anna, were you helping your sister with her homework? Yes, I was helping her with math problems. That's nice of you. Did she understand the concepts? Yes, she grasped the concepts after some explanation. It's great that you're able to assist her with her studies. I try my best to support her academic progress. Did you use any specific strategies to explain the math problems? Yes, I used visual aids and examples to make it easier to understand. That's a helpful approach. Did she find it helpful? Yes, she found it helpful and it boosted her confidence. That's wonderful. Encouragement goes a long way in learning. Definitely, positive reinforcement is important. Did you find it enjoyable to help your sister? Yes, I enjoy being able to assist and see her progress. It's a rewarding experience. Do you help her often? Whenever she needs assistance, I'm there to help. That's admirable, Anna. Keep up the good work. Thank you, John. I appreciate your kind words. You're welcome, Anna. Have a fantastic day ahead. You too, John. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye for now. Lesson 13. What were you drinking at the party last night? Triple X.
Hi Anna, what were you drinking at the party last night? I was drinking a refreshing fruit punch. That sounds delicious. Was it homemade or store-bought? It was homemade. I mixed different fruit juices together. That must have been a hit at the party. Did everyone enjoy it? Yes, it was a popular choice. People kept asking for refills. That's a sign of a tasty drink. Did you add any special ingredients? I added some fresh mint leaves for an extra burst of flavor. Mint leaves can really enhance the taste. Any other beverages available? Yes, there were also options like soda, water, and some cocktails. It's good to have a variety for different preferences. Did you try anything else? I tasted a few different cocktails that were served. Did you have a favorite among them? Yes, I really enjoyed a mojito that was made by a friend. Mojitos are always a refreshing choice. Did you dance and have a good time? Yes, the party had a great atmosphere, and I danced with friends. That sounds like a fun night. Did you stay until the end? Yes, I stayed until the party wrapped up and then headed home. I'm glad you had a great time. Parties are a nice way to unwind. Thank you, John. It was a memorable evening. You're welcome, Anna. Have a fantastic day ahead. You too, John. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye for now. Lesson 14. Do you like working on your laptop at the coffee shop? Hi Anna, do you like working on your laptop at the coffee shop? Yes, I enjoy working at coffee shops sometimes. What do you like about working in that environment? I find the ambience and background noise stimulating. Does it help you stay focused and productive? Yes, it can be motivating to be around others who are working. That makes sense. Do you find it comfortable to work there? I usually find a cozy spot and make myself comfortable. Do you have a favorite coffee shop to work at? Yes, there's a local cafe that I prefer for its atmosphere. That's great. Are you able to concentrate well amidst the activity? Yes, I've learned to block out distractions and focus on my work. Do you also enjoy the coffee or other beverages while working? Yes, I like sipping on a warm drink while I work. It sounds like a nice way to combine work and relaxation. It can be a pleasant break from the usual office routine. Are there any challenges you face while working at coffee shops? Sometimes finding a power outlet can be a challenge. That's true. It's good to plan ahead and ensure your laptop is charged. Definitely, I always make sure to have a full battery before going. Well, it's great that you have found a productive work environment. Thank you, John. It works well for me. You're welcome, Anna. Have a productive day ahead. You too, John. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye for now.
Lesson 15. What were you doing when you realized you lost your wallet? I was Diana, walking through what the were park you doing when, when I you realized, realized it was you missing. lost your wallet? Oh no, that must have been a stressful moment. Did you retrace your steps? Yes, I immediately went back to the places I had been. That's a good idea. Did you find any clues or leads? Unfortunately, I didn't find any trace of my wallet. That's unfortunate. Did you report it to the authorities? Yes, I reported the loss to the local police station. It's important to notify them in case it gets turned in. Did you cancel your cards? Yes, I contacted my bank and canceled my credit cards. That's a wise precaution to prevent any unauthorized transactions. Absolutely, I wanted to minimize the potential damage. Did you have any important identification documents in the wallet? Luckily, I only had my ID card and some cash in it. Losing cash is still unfortunate, but at least your important documents are safe. Yes, I'm grateful for that. Losing the wallet was enough of a hassle. Have you taken any additional steps to protect yourself from identity theft? Yes, I signed up for credit monitoring services, just in case. That's a proactive measure. Hopefully, your wallet will be found or returned. I hope so too. I'll keep an eye out for any updates. Thank you, John. You're welcome, Anna. Stay positive, and I hope everything works out. Thank you, John. Have a great day. You too, Anna. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, John. Until next time. Lesson 16. What were you thinking about while you were staring out the window? Hi, Anna. What were you thinking about while you were staring out the window? I was lost in thought, reflecting on the events of the day. Deep in thought, huh? Anything particular on your mind? I was contemplating some decisions I need to make. Decision making can be challenging. Do you need any advice? I appreciate the offer, but I think I need some time to figure things out on my own. That's understandable. Sometimes we need to trust our instincts. Yes, I believe I'll find the right path with some introspection. Taking your time to reflect is important. Did you reach any conclusions? Not yet, but I'm getting closer to understanding what I want. That's a positive step. It's important to have clarity. I agree. Clarity will help me move forward with confidence. Is there anything specific you're seeking clarity about? I've been considering a career change, and it's been on my mind lately. Ah, a career change can be a big decision. Have you explored your options? Yes, I've been researching different industries and talking to professionals. That's proactive. It's good to gather information before making a decision. Absolutely. I want to make an informed choice for my future. Well, I wish you the best of luck in finding the right path, Anna. 
Thank you, John. I appreciate your support and encouragement. You're welcome, Anna. Take your time, and you'll find your way. Thank you again, John. Have a wonderful day. You too, Anna. Take care, and see you soon. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, John. Until next time. Lesson 17. What were you discussing with your boss on the phone? Hi Anna, what were you discussing with your boss on the phone? I was discussing a new project assignment with my boss. Oh, that sounds interesting. What is the project about? The project involves developing a marketing campaign for a new product. That's a great opportunity. Did your boss provide any specific instructions? Yes, my boss gave me guidelines and expectations for the campaign. That's helpful. Did you share your ideas or ask any questions? Yes, I shared some initial ideas and asked for clarification on certain points. It's good to have open communication. Did you receive any feedback? Yes, my boss provided feedback and suggestions to refine the plan. Feedback is valuable for improvement. Did you feel confident about the project? With the guidance and feedback, I feel more confident about it. That's great to hear. Is there a deadline for the project? Yes, we have a deadline to meet for the campaign launch. It's important to manage time effectively. Are you excited about the project? Yes, I'm excited to work on something new and make it successful. I'm sure you'll do a great job, Anna. Keep up the good work. Thank you, John. I appreciate your support and encouragement. You're welcome, Anna. Have a productive day ahead. You too, John. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye for now. Lesson 18. Were you taking a shower when the electricity went out? Hi Anna, were you taking a shower when the electricity went out? Yes, I was in the middle of my shower when it happened. That must have been unexpected. How did you handle the situation? I quickly finished washing up with the remaining water. Good thinking. Did you have any trouble navigating in the dark? It was a bit challenging, but I managed with my phone flashlight. That's resourceful. Did you try to find out the cause of the power outage? Yes, I checked with neighbors, and it seemed to be a general outage. Power outages can be inconvenient. Did it last long? Fortunately, it only lasted for about an hour. That's not too bad. Were you able to resume your normal activities afterward? Yes, once the power came back, everything went back to normal. That's a relief. Did you take any precautions for future outages? Yes, I made sure to keep a flashlight handy for emergencies. It's always good to be prepared. Did the outage affect anything else? It caused my alarm clock to reset, so I overslept a bit the next morning. Ah, that can be a common consequence. 
Did you have any important appointments? Luckily, I didn't have any urgent appointments that day. Well, I'm glad it didn't cause too much disruption for you. Thank you, John. It was a minor inconvenience overall. You're welcome, Anna. Have a great day. You too, John. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye for now. Lesson 19. What were you wearing at the concert last night? Hi Anna, what were you wearing at the concert last night? I was wearing a black dress and comfortable shoes. Sounds like a stylish yet practical choice. Did you accessorize? Yes, I wore a silver necklace and some bracelets. That's a nice touch. Did you consider the weather when choosing your outfit? Yes, I checked the weather forecast and dressed accordingly. It's important to be comfortable at concerts. Did you bring a jacket? Yes, I brought a light jacket in case it got chilly later. That's a smart move. Did your outfit match the concert's vibe? I tried to choose something that suited the music and atmosphere. It's great to be in sync with the event. Did you enjoy the concert? Yes, it was an amazing experience. The music was fantastic. That sounds wonderful. Did you meet any interesting people there? Yes, I made a few new friends who shared my love for the artist. That's always a bonus. Did you take any photos to capture the memories? Yes, I took some photos to remember the fun moments. That's great. It's nice to have visual reminders of special events. Definitely. Photos help bring back the feelings and excitement. Well, I'm glad you had a fantastic time at the concert, Anna. Thank you, John. It was an unforgettable night. You're welcome, Anna. Have a wonderful day. You too, John. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye for now. Lesson 20, were you helping your kids with their homework? Hi Anna, were you helping your kids with their homework? Yes, I was sitting with them and assisting with their assignments. That's great. What subjects were they working on? They were working on math and English assignments. Those are important subjects. Did they have any specific challenges? Yes, they had some trouble with a few math problems. Math can be tricky sometimes. Did you explain the concepts to them? Yes, I explained the concepts step by step to help them understand. That's a patient approach. Did they make progress with your guidance? Yes, they started to grasp the concepts better as we worked together. That's fantastic. Did they have any questions about their English assignments? They had a few questions about grammar and vocabulary. English can be complex. Did you provide examples to clarify their doubts? Yes, I gave them examples and explained the rules in a simple way. That's helpful. Did they feel more confident after your explanations? Yes, they seemed more confident and motivated to complete their homework. 
That's a great outcome. Did they finish their assignments successfully? Yes, they completed their homework with a better understanding. Well done, Anna. Your guidance made a difference for them. Thank you, John. I'm glad I could help them. It's important to support their learning. You're absolutely right. Keep up the good work, Anna. Thank you, John. Have a wonderful day. You too, Anna. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, John. Until next time.